Hi everyone, it's Bridget. I have a haul I'd like to share with you. Recently, my husband and I went on vacation to Northern Vermont. We went to this town called Morgan, Vermont. Um, a friend of ours, Sandy. Hi, Sandy. She owns cottages, her and her husband up there and um, on Seymour Lake. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'll put some pictures in this video at the end if you care to look at them. Um, we just had a, a great, great, great time. The weather was perfect. You couldn't ask for better weather. We left on Friday and we came home Monday evening and it was just perfect weather all weekend long. We've got nice color. We stayed on the water most of the time. Bonfire on the beach. The cottage was absolutely adorable. Um, we just, it was just so peaceful and, you know, we live in the city, so not New York City, but we live in a city, and um, it was just so peaceful to be up there. So anyways, on our way through, halfway from where we live, because it's a five-hour drive, so halfway, it's Chester, Vermont, and that's where Miriam has her shop, and um, if you if you follow me on Facebook, and you may know Miriam, it's L. Miriam Meserve on Facebook but this is her website and this is her shop up there in Vermont and um, there's a local this is her local card that she gives out the other one is for online shoppers for her online orders and so we stopped there on the way through I was stopping to you know visit her store and to see her meet her and to pick up some um, the steampunk debutante graphic 45 paper well the the FedEx guy had not come and so I did not wasn't able to grab that paper but my friend Sandy on her way back through on Monday was able to grab that from Miriam so that was awesome anyways um, I just want to show you some of the things I bought in her store and her prices are so 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 reasonable um, I had gotten the clear gesso. I seen it used on um, YouTube here by somebody. I can't remember who it was, but I, you know, I was gifted a, a junk journal, and I've been writing in it, and I want to start doing some mixed media pages in it. So I like this clear gesso, and I'm gonna try this out. I, I couldn't find it at like Joann's and Michaels, so I'm glad I found it at her shop. And then, of course, I got, I love coral. Coral is like, coral and green are like my favorite colors. So I picked up the new Distress Stain Spray by Tim Holtz, the Abandoned Coral. And, of course, I picked up the green, it's uh, Twisted Cit Citron from Tim Holtz. So I can't wait to use those. And then I'll show you my metals last. I'll just show you. I got some watercolor brushes because um, I'm really starting to get into more of the, um, the backgrounds of you know the mixed media so I got those and then I saw these hanging there the bow bunny chipboard and I just loved the intricacy of these chipboard pieces so I'm hoping to find a project to use them on otherwise I'm just gonna hoard them and then she tried like I don't know it it may have been even like a year ago she tried so hard, so hard to get me into the Santoro line she even emailed me a bunch of pictures of the Santoro line and I was just kind of like you know I don't know I was just you know I looked at it I was like yeah 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 because she knows I'm into steampunk stuff and I was just you know I wasn't really I don't know there was other things that I was more interested in at the time so, you know, I just wasn't crazy about it. And then when I was in her shop, I had asked her before we got up there. You know, she still carried the line. She said, yeah. And, oh, my goodness, she has tons and tons of it in her shop. You know, the different, sorry, the different, uh, different things that they produce. And this is decoupage. Um, paper, tissue paper, really, with a glossy. But this is awesome. Look how pretty she is. I hope there's not a glare. But look how pretty she is with the gears. Oh, I can't wait to do something with her. Even like maybe one of my journal pages. You know, I'm not very good at stamping, um, at coloring. So I picked up these two. And there's quite a few in here. 
So they're thick too. They're like, um, they're chipboard thick pieces, almost like coaster. So I can't wait to play with these. Should be really fun. And then another part of the Santoro is I picked up some paper. And this paper is just, it's gorgeous. Let me just go through, I don't know, it's kind of like, I don't know what happened here, if it's supposed to be like that. But let me just go through this. I don't know if I'm backed up far enough. I guess I am. Let's see if I can give you more. There you go. So there's this page. And like some of this is glossy. It's almost like these are stickers on this page. It's really cool. I just love her. You know, and then you have these little that you can cut out. But the papers feel... I mean, they, they, they feel almost like a wallpaper, and they're so, so pretty. I used one of these already, but this one has got gears. Obviously, you can see that, but these gears are glossed, and these aren't. So there's that one, and there's four of each pages, and this one is really pretty, too. The hearts, I don't know if I can get the shimmering of the hearts in there, but all the hearts are glossy, kind of. So they all shimmer. And then this one has texture like it's been embossed. And this one feels embossed too. And then this is kind of like a shimmery page, which is really cool. I mean, the this one's shimmery too, and this is so, so, so pretty. And this matches um, this tissue paper, what's on her dress. So, but this is, this is really cool. And then this is just a regular page. This is really nice too, and, and it's two-sided. I think, yeah, all these back pages are two-sided. So the front half of it is, or not even half, well, more than half, is one-sided. And then you get to the two-sided pages, and I love this. This would be a great mixed-media background. Of course, and I love polka dots, or I can make flowers with those. And then these little circles, beautiful. Just, ugh, I can't wait to play with this paper. This one too, I love the browns. And then this one, it has this, the lines. So yeah, this is gorgeous, gorgeous paper. And then, so let me show you the stamps I got. I got the birds. The crazy birds. Oh, when I saw these, when these came first came out, or when I saw the Tim Holtz video that they were coming out, um, I just could not wait to get them. I was just, um, I just think they're so cute, and I can't wait. And these ones, I am going to attempt to try to use, like, watercolors or the pastels, the um, oil pastels that I have, or maybe even the watercolor crayons. Um or the inks I don't know I will figure out how I've been watching some videos on how everybody's been coloring them so I'm super excited about playing with those and then I saw this stamp set and I just thought it would go cool this one especially would go cool with the Santora line and I just happen to like these two so I like these sayings too especially let it go um, anyways, so, and then I just picked this up because I'm really, you know, I've said this how many times on this video, I'm not very good at coloring, so I'd like to, you know, use the girl for maybe a card or something, um, but I just grabbed that, and then I grabbed a bunch more paper, and she's got some really cool paper in her store, I mean, it's so different from when you go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or whatnot I mean this is couture creations or couture creations and it's Denise body designs and this paper is absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh I might end up hoarding this like forever and never using it look at this page I am so in love with this page I mean this says love every minute laugh every day live beyond words this is so cool. And, you know, I happen to have one of these that I've been saving because I want to alter it, but I have not found the right thing to alter around it. So 
I may just use this pa paper. Um, so anyway, so these are two-sided pa papers. And this paper, um, I just, I don't know how many, let me see how many sheets are in it. 48 double-sided sheets. This is just gorgeous with the pansies. I mean, it's just, you can see this, it's just, the there's writing right, there's script right here. But like this distress kind of here, I don't know, I'm just, I just think it's gorgeous. It is just really, really, really gorgeous paper. I mean, look at that. You know, I don't even know if I'll ever use it. You know, a lot of times I buy paper pads and I use one or two sheets out of it. I don't know, are we all guilty of that? You know, I'm just, this says treasure the time and it has a little script on it. Magical dream, believe, wish, joy, hope, inspire, beauty, love. And it just repeats it. But I mean, the bees, they're so like beautiful, right? Okay. I know. I know. I'm just getting a little carried away for paper, but I am. I'm a paper hoarder. I used to be this way with material. Now it's paper. Beautiful. Just, just beautiful. And then I think it goes back through these same... This is beautiful, too. I love the yellow tones. There's the hourglass again and a musical sheet. This would make beautiful cards. And then it goes back to the same same papers again. So yeah, so check this paper. It's called Heart's Ease. I think you'll like this. Okay, whatever. Um, Cause I'll just keep going on and on about the paper. And then I picked up this Rose Garden paper and let me just flip through here fast. This is another one that it's 64 sheets, four sheets of 16 designs, and it's heavyweight cardstock. I mean, this is like, to me, it, it feels like wallpaper. That's what it feels like. And look at this page. Is that not gorgeous? These are gorgeous papers. Look at this. These are really, really gorgeous, sturdy papers. Look at all these little tags. And look at this, and it's got a shimmer to it. It's just beautiful. And then these hearts. I know, it, it just, this has got another shimmer to it. I hope the, the lighting is picking up that shimmer. This has got kind of like a glossy on the, the flowers. This one too. I just love the feel of the paper. I know, I'm just weird. I really am. I'm very weird. And this, we start double-sided. Pink polka dots. Who doesn't love polka dots, right? There's the this side, and then there's a solid pink with white. Love polka dots. I like making flowers with polka dot paper. And then the, the stamps page. I don't know. I thought that when I saw that, I thought that was kind of weird to put inside this collection, but whatever. Um, these are beautiful too. And then the other side is even more beautiful. I should hurry up, right? Because I still have, um, other stuff to get through. Then you got the tan and the opposite. And this one and the opposite. And then the flowers, you got green on one side, the pink. And then this, this is the book script. No, it's actually a dictionary script in here with the hearts all over it. And then the other side is just plain with the dictionary. So that's that one, Rose Garden. And then of course, this one I looked at so many times that I actually pulled it apart. <laughs> but this is Marion Smith's designs, the timekeeper one. I just love this paper. I know I've said this about every one of the papers I got. Well, of course I wouldn't abide it. I wouldn't abide it. Great talking there. I wouldn't have bought it if I did not like the papers. But these are just, oh, I just love these papers. And I think this is one of my favorite pages. Maybe that's why I ripped it there. Isn't that gorgeous? The yellow flowers with the little time pieces. Just gorgeous. 
This paper, look at the yellow flowers around here. This paper is just gorgeous. I'm just loving it. I really may hoard this. Look at this girl. I might hoard this. Might not just touch it at all. But this is beautiful, right? You guys should really check out Miriam's shop. You find all these kind of papers that you can't find at Michael's. And then this one is, is this a Marion Smith too? I believe this is a Marion Smith too. Yep. This is Junk Gypsy. So I don't think this is in pad form, but look at these hot air balloons. And then the back is script. Beautiful. The leaves and then the little And then this one, isn't that gorgeous? And then the little tags. I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh, bless me, sorry. Sorry. Okay. And then this one. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? And this you can cut out and make a little envelope. Look at that. And I love the smell of the paper. I know, it's just weird. I know. Look at that. Would you look at that? Oh, sorry. Let me hurry up and get through here. And this one, because I have one more paper pad to show you. And then I have tons of metals to show you. Wait till you see all the metals that she has in her shop. Oh, it was like a kid in a candy store when I was there. I just, oh my goodness. I so wish I lived near her. I'd be at her shop every day crafting. I'd be her best customer. I would. So that's that one. And I'll show you the front again. It's the Gypsy, the Junk Gypsy by Marion Smith Designs. And then, of course, I had to, I didn't realize that I had never ordered this one, so I had to get the Rare Oddity ones for Halloween. And um, we all have seen this paper, so I'm not really going to spend a lot of time there. So let me show you all the medals I got. And actually, the last project I just used um, I just made. I used this and some of the eyeballs and probably a few other things. I believe I used a few other things in here, but look at these eyeballs. Let me open these up. These are super cool. There's three different eyeballs and those are the colors of the eyeballs. So you have kind of like a turquoisey and a more deeper blue and then like a kind of brown color. Those are super cool. And then these are magnets. She does sell magnets and they're very, very thin. I have some scrapbooking magnets, but they're thicker than these ones. But look how tiny these ones are. Can you see those? I'll take them out. They're very magnetic. So look how tiny they are. I'll show you, I got the three different sizes. So let's see, I got, I can't break them apart. I mean, they're like really magnetized. There we go. So there we go. Do it that way. So you can see the different sizes. Cool, right? Okay. And then these ones. Let me just dump these out because I got to sort them out and put them away anyway. So look at these little, these aren't magnet or magnet. Now I got my magnets on the brain. These aren't metal. They're kind of plastic, but I thought they were cute. They're little top hats. And then these little domino pieces. just thought they were cute because they were tiny. And then I got some of these clasps that you squeeze together and it has the little hole there. Nothing exciting there. And then these little Tinkerbells. So I got those. And then let me dump out these. You just got to see all the metals that she has in her shop. So I got these because I want to play around with these. And I got, I think I got like 10 of these because... I want to put, I believe, my idea is to put a little word in each of them. So there's a bunch of those. 
So there's those. And then these little knockers, aren't they cute? They're so cute. And then these, of course, I have some of these, and I like doing these. I actually used these on my last project, too, that mixed media tin that I did, because I just like the way they look. Those are cool. And look at these cars. She's got these cars in here. Aren't they not cute? And you don't have to use these as as charms. You can put these on your like mixed media metal projects, which is why I got a lot of these things. And then these little teapots. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is another door knocker. I got um, well, I don't know if it's in this. It's not in this batch, but. I got, I have the Marion Smith, um, like Alice in Wonderland paper. So I got some things to go with that paper. So here's a teacup. And then this, this has the Celtic, well, it looks like the Celtic knot on it. I'm assuming it is. Kind of looks funky. But I got that because I liked that. Just because I liked it, I don't know. Have no use. I have no reason. I mean, I don't have a project in mind for it. But then this, that you can put a piece of paper in and pour your clear resin in. Nice, nice. And then look at these binoculars. They actually turn. Look, <gasps> they move. I think that's so cute. Can't see out of them though. And look at these, like jail cell keys. Look. Is this not the cutest? Oh, I thought these were so cute. The Steampunk Festival in Springfield, um, Vermont, is this coming weekend. I wish I could go, but we were already up there last weekend, so I don't think my husband will take me. I wish I could go, though. That would be so much fun. I just love steampunk. I would love to just walk around and see everybody dressed in their steampunk outfits and, you know, check out all the artisans and stuff. But anyways... Maybe next year. So I got some pumpkins because you know Halloween is coming. And those are those keys again. And then if you can see, they got some musical notes, a doggy bone because, yes, we just got a new doggy. She's not really new. She was my daughter's dog. She's four years old. Her name is Gemma. And, yes, she was named after Gemma from Sons of Anarchy, which I'm on my seventh season of. And I just love that show. Oh, my gosh. I don't want it to end. Yes, I just finished the... Last season, the season six's last show where Tara was killed by Gemma. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I can't wait for Jax to kill Gemma. What an idiot. You know what? You're supposed to find out information before you react to things. Anyways, so I got these little hearts they hand me with love. And, of course, some little apples. And the musical notes I showed you. And look at this little cowboy hat adorable right and then littler arrows that match those bigger arrows and of course the the clock pieces and just this little jewelry find and then I got some metal puzzle pieces and this says Vermont on it it's the shape of the state I wanted to um, get this because of our vacation that we just took when I finally do scrapbook the pictures or whatnot or do something, this will go on it. And these I used on my last project too. The mixed media tin. Um, I used one of these. I love these. They're metal. These I'll definitely get more of. They're awesome. So anyways, let me keep going. I know I'm at like 23 minutes because I'm talking too much. So here I got some metal gears just because they're little and they're different from what I already have. I got some of those, and then I got these really cool witches' heads, because, you know, Halloween is coming. So those will go with my Halloween things. And then I got this little doggy. Yes, our dog is um, part greyhound, part um, lab, I believe, mix. And she looks, like a, she looks like a miniature greyhound is what she looks like. She's beautiful, but she's got the beauty of a lab. You know, I don't think greyhounds are beautiful dogs, but this one, oh my God, she's gorgeous. She's just absolutely gorgeous. And I love the way she prances when she walks and she jumps like a deer. It's just, she's got so much grace to her. I mean, she's just beautiful and she's fast. She's very fast. 
I just love her and she's a good dog she you know she's just well mannered and the only part about her that is a little it with me is she's very needy she thinks she's human and she likes to sit on your lap and she's too big of a dog to sit on your lap and she cuddles with you at night it's just really weird what she does but anyways besides the point so let's see what do I have here these keys these are awesome because the tips of them are actual playing cards and I thought they would go with my Alice in Wonderland things so I have the teacup and I have the rabbit and of course the timepiece and um, I did I thought I got the playing cards which are probably yeah the playing cards are in there so that'll all go with my um, uh, what not what did I what am I talking about my Alice in Wonderland collection stuff so and then see here there's the the um, those the <laughs> Yeah, my brain is just going a mile a minute. You know, playing cards. That's what they are. And then here's some mirrors. I showed you those. And then these are just some pieces that I thought would look great on mixed media. Something metal. And I just got this ribbon for, you know, cancer for hope. Because I've lost a few people in my family. Both my mothers. Of can for can um, They both died of cancer, so... Um, you know anyway so I know I just talk too much um, this is why I try to be quiet on my regular videos because if I did whatever so <laughs> this is you know for Halloween um, some bathing suit tops I don't know why I got those they were just there I guess this is uh, um, you know a rainbow that's what that is a rainbow and these are so cool. Look at these. They're handcuffs. Are they not cool or what? And it says on them, it says freedom. But of course, the way I feel about that, and yes, I'm going to give my opinion. You know, if you want freedom, don't do the crime. Otherwise, you do the time. And then some snowman because, you know, before we know it, winter will be here and we will be complaining about the cold and the all the snow and stuff and these are just little chalkboards I thought these those were cute and then I have a few of these in my stash I believe I got them from her before and they remind me of the pliers that when you know you get a tooth pulled I don't know so and then I got this I'm not sure why I got the RN thing but I may come up I may end up having a project that I have to do for a nurse and you know I have them so then they ha I have these Coca-Cola bottle cap charms. These are so cool. And some yarn for a knitter. And then this, I love this, the Tree of Life. Love that, or that's what it reminds me of. And these clock pieces. And then a larger snowman. Not sure why I didn't get two of those. So a larger snowman. And then these crown pieces. I just love those. Right? And then here's some other keys. I just love these keys too. And then these crowns are awesome because they're 3Ds. You know, they're, they're like circled all the way around. So for some of my projects, these would be great to put on top of, you know, beads or whatnot. Or those little ugly dolls as I call them and then this is a little tea bag look at this it's a tea bag it says tea on it it's a little tea bag I just thought that was cute I got a couple of those I got a microphone just because I thought it was cute I got a few more of those I got one in this color of the um, cancer ribbons the elephant tried to get one of each of everything that she had this is another RN thing. Um, teapot. You know, some things I knew that I was going to use, I got um, more of. But, you know, I just try to get one of everything she has so that, 
when I do go to reorder, I know what I wanted. So these little spoons are cool, and I believe I used one of these on a project on my cell phone holder project that I did for my kitchen, but aren't they cute? Beautiful. And then, of course, I was thinking steampunk, so I got the octopus. And then this is the Alice in Wonderland. Um, where should I go? That's what it says on here. Where should I go? And you got the cat up here. So, a little teapot. And then one of my favorite keys. And actually, I found out Miriam has this tattooed right here on her arm, this key. And it's also on her, she pointed out, it's also on her business cards. I just love this key. I used this on a on a project that I made for Miriam. Um, but I love these little gears here. So I picked up a couple of those. And then this jewelry piece. And then these two um, snowflake filigrees. One more bag and I am finished. I know. I'm sorry. But I wanted to show you all the yummy stuff that Miriam has in her shop. Look at this. Is that not cool? I love the owl. Love that. And of course the glasses. Love those. I don't know if you could see those with everything behind it. And last but not least, are these not cool? These are so cool. Yep. So that is my haul from Miriam's shop. And like I said, go check her out. Um, www miriamscraftingblog.com and check out all the charms she has and the cool papers that she has and everything. And thanks everybody for watching and sticking to this half hour video. Okay everybody, bye. Thank you.